friends and neighbors. How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm creating this video for the ages, i.e. safety, of my vessel construct. Because my character is now being attacked by the nom de guerre syntax learning sick center. And I'm going to play a little snippet of a recent video that they did where someone named colon Joey hyphen John colon Lester basically slanders me talks ish about me someone he's never met and doesn't know and actually he contacted me back in 2019 in a very strange communication scenario which I will share the email here later on and show you the length and breadth of how strange that whole cult that Joey comes from, the RJG cult, how strange that thing is. And I'm also going to share you some emails from, I don't know if I should use their current title or the title they used to have. Let, let's just call them colon Robert hyphen Leroy colon uh, Horton. I'm not going to use the other goofy titles that have been associated with him by that syntax learning center, which is a misnomer if I've ever heard one. So the reason why I'm doing this video is for the ages of the vessel. I wouldn't even be talking about them personally if they hadn't come out on their channel talking about me. Now to give you a little background, if you follow this channel, if you watched at least even a small portion of the over 500 correct sentence structure communication parsley syntax grammar videos that I pro uh, provide for free on this channel, then you know that I do reaction videos and audits of other people who claim to have some sort of authority or some sort of standing with correct sentence structure, but I show clearly that they have no closure on correct sentence structure, or at least they don't possess full closure on correct sentence structure. Russell J. Gould is one of these people. And as you may or may not know, I did a reaction video to his Piercing Dynasty video, which he and his, my, I'm guessing his handler, Rachel Prince, filed a copyright strike with YouTube, manually filed a copyright strike with YouTube against my channel to get them to take that video down because I was criticizing his grammar. I, cr I was critiquing and showing the mistakes in Russell's grammar and also at the same time simultaneously showing how to correct those mistakes. Well, for whatever reason, they didn't like that and they filed a YouTube strike, a manual strike against me, which YouTube immediately took down the video. But then shortly thereafter, after I spoke with YouTube, they erased the strike from my record. So... I have to be very careful with these people because they don't have the knowledge to be able to do anything with correct sentence structure towards me. So they have to use the fiction system. They have to go, you know, cry into the to the nanny state to try and get a strike against my YouTube channel, which I have to be very careful here. They may do the same thing here. I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of reaction videos and not one individual has ever tried to file a copyright strike against me. Matter of fact, there are Literally thousands of people on YouTube who do reaction videos to artists, big name music people, other people doing videos. And rarely, if ever, does anyone ever file a copyright strike. So I must be hitting a nerve here. But in any case, what I do in these reaction videos is I point out contradictions in what Russell says and holes in his knowledge, especially focusing on the grammar. I don't say anything derogatory about him as an individual. I don't say whether he's a good person. I don't say whether he's a bad person. I definitely show where, you know, he says one thing and does another, which proves to be, you know, what he says to be not true. I've said things like that, but I've provided a continuous of the evidence that that is the case. And I'm sure there's lots of people out there who can attest to the fact that um, he's promised to do things for them and then just didn't follow through. 
But those people are yet to come forward. I do have one individual's very uh, interesting story. I've known him for a few years, and he personally knows Russell and was involved in the whole 9-11 scenario way back then and a whole thing that happened there. And hopefully this, this guy will come forward and share his story on my um, Continuum con uh, Conversations talk show. But that's neither here nor there. This is about the Syntax Learning Center and what Joey John Lester was saying about me and slandering me and also providing a continuance of the evidence backing up everything that I've claimed that he addresses in the video. Or I think mostly everything. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started and let's check out what he's saying. Now, again, listen. If I get any problems about this video and get another copyright strike, then I know for sure that these people are definitely afraid of what's going on on this channel, which is just teaching correct grammar. And by teaching correct grammar, I'm actually showing what is incorrect. And of course, someone who's built their whole construct on a reputation of being the chief and being the authority of the grammar, if someone's out here showing that they're obviously wrong and that they can't even follow their own grammatical rules, well, of course, the chief is going to get mad and want me to shut my mouth because it's not his volition to be humble and to stop and correct or anything like that. It's his volition to keep going on and making money or, you know, living whatever he's doing, which is fine. I don't care. Do what he but what I'm saying is, I want you, the viewer, to be aware of this, to know the choices that you're making when you throw in with someone like that. Okay, hopefully I'm in a ge geographic location on the screen that you're going to be able to see what's going on. Now, this is just a little snippet that I took of the video that was just published. Um... Check it out, first of all, first of all, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this flag. This is on a Russell J. Gould approved and authorized YouTube channel. <laughs> Whatever that means. You see this up here? This is a ball finale on top of the flag. According to flag protocols, Army Regs 840-10, anything that is placed on top of a flagpole negates the contract of the flag, negates the constitution of the flag, as stated by both David hyphen Wynn Colin Miller and Colin Russell hyphen J Colin Gould. They both have said that, and yet here we have a ball on top of this flag. David said you could put a Pepsi can on the top of the flag and it negates the contract. Well, this clearly negates the contract of this flag. It is not a correct sentence, structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, flag. However, that doesn't even really matter because look at the hoist and the fly of the flag. That is definitely not 1 by 1.9. You look up in the corner, I'm sorry, the <laughs> you look up in the port side corner of this screen and you will see a 1 by 1.9 flag. That is what the ratio, the correct ratio of the grammar flag looks like. It has not been modified. There's no spire, no ball on top of it. And it is the correct ratio. This looks like an old bummer flag. And it's very interesting because I have a document on file, supposedly authorized, authored by Colin Russell Ivan J. Colin Gould, that does have a flag like that on it. It's not a grammar flag. So what exactly is going on here? So let's listen to what Joey is saying. And Joey, I think Joey John Lester is talking about Russell J. Gould here at the beginning. Here we go. He's already been there in that space. Matter of fact, he took over that space because he knows how to do it. He took over that space, meaning Russell J. Gould. What does it mean when you take over a space? Sounds to me like he did something and other people didn't want him to do it, i.e., he was forcing people to do something against their will, taking over. When 
one country invades another country and takes over. Listen to the language here, folks. He is who he says he is. I've been there with Chief. He showed me the back streets where all the international banks are. That's a real thing. If you don't believe me, you can go there and check it out yourself. Just look around. Just Google on Google Maps the different banks and their locations. And you'll notice they're all stacked up on these back roads. Kind of like you got a main drag. And then on the back side, out of the view, kind of like if you took a back alley road, that's where all the banks are. It's so weird. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Really, who cares where a bank is? What does it matter if it's down the street or an industrial section? What does it really matter where a bank is or where a central bank is? Banking is banking. Um, anyone can be a banker. Anyone can be a bank banker. You just have to have the knowledge of how banking works. You have to get familiar with the terminology. So I don't know. It just sounds to me... This is my impression of what this guy is saying. He's just trying to make it sound all more mysterious than what it actually is. And, of course, he said to certify what he's saying, you can go look for yourself on Google Maps. You can look at, you can find out a bank in a back alley. What does that even mean? A bank is a bank. Most banks are central banks. And they're located all over the place. So I don't, I don't understand the pertinence of a bank's location as juxtaposed with the function of the bank. The bank still functions the same, whether the bank is set up at the corner of your block or in the middle of a city. So that's kind of goofy to me. That, that When Chief showed me all this, I was like, no, why would they put all these banks back here hidden in this little cul-de-sac? You know, you drive through any other town, they're, they're on the main roads, right? Next to In-N-Out or gas station or whatnot, you know, they're, or they're next to Walmart, you know, they're, they're out in public view where you can see them from the main roads, not hidden. They're not hidden unless they are literally behind a gate over a hill in a valley where you cannot see them and the public cannot access them. And even if they were there, who really cares? right who cares banking is banking friends and neighbors banking is easy i've done numerous podcasts on the for the quantum grammar shoot about banking and how it works and how you can be your own bank banker there are no secrets there are no tricks now i will say this the way that i've seen russell j gould having his federal serve system or whatever he calls it set up it's basically taking the fiction banking system and using his quantum gobbledygook instead. I'm not going to deny that the guy knows banking. I don't know if he knows it or not. I know that he has a website that's very hard to understand because it's not correct sentence structure and it's not quite plain English either. It's a mishmash of the two. And so whatever his knowledge is, I really have no idea. What I'm talking about as far as what this guy's saying is, to me, it's not a big deal. I could give two craps where a bank is located as long as it performs its function. But Chief gets into great detail on this call. I highly recommend listening to it more than once. And the call he did before that, we also have posted on our website. Please listen to both of these calls two or three times if not more Ooh, check out this uh grammar here notice that these people have begun putting their colons tight up against the first fact in their sentence which you're welcome syntax learning center <laughs> so it means for the study of the ch chief's video libraries, and then you have a dangling participle colon after libraries. Because if you're going to have two position lodial fact phrases, you must have a verb after it if it's not a full stop. But no, they have a dangling participle colon. There is no fact following the colon. It looks, there, looks like there are one, two, three pronouns following it. 
And by pronouns, I mean website addresses that have not been positioned as facts. There's no, posi there's no position loadial phrase in front of him. There's no colon in front of him with a tilde. No. So it's four pronouns. Actually, it's five pronouns. Study is a pronoun and Chief's Video Libraries is a pronoun simply because of that dangling participle colon right there and simply because the three websites have not been properly positioned. Or you will learn so much information in those calls from Chief. He's putting it all out there for you to, to, to know how to plug into his system, get a claim of life, what you need to learn, Look at this sentence right here. You have a vowel in front of a consonant with the O and E. We have for the one hyphen step at a time with your journey. You have three position lodial fact phrases, which voids the mathematical interface. Number one, it does not end with an authority. Number two, there is no verb in the sentence. And number three, what is this positional at? How would you read that backwards? You have four positionals, four of, with, and by. Four is congruent with, by, of is congruent with, with. Four is the cause, of is concerned, with is possessive, by is authority. What is at? What function does at serve? It can't be a function, it can't be uh, possessive, it can't be concern, it can't be authority. So what is its function? And what is its congruency? Inquiring minds want to know. Do the step seven. Then learn syntaxing, then join a postmaster's group, right? Why is that? Because that's the way it needs to be done. Why is that? Because that's the way it needs to be done. <laughs> I get an extra special joy out of listening to guys like this. So go ahead and do this, guys, because that's the way it's done. We don't need any proof. We don't need to know why. You just need to know that that's the way it's done. Guard darn it. Chief's already set the system up. It's ready to go for all you guys to plug into, which is going to be awesome, I think. And Which is going to be awesome, I think. How long has Russell claimed to be doing this? 20-some years? 30 some years but it still has not been implemented it's still something in the future correctness is coming it's always coming this never arrives it's going to be so great when it happens when's it going to happen sort of like the second coming of of the um, mythological figure of jesus like it, they're always talking about it happening but it never quite happens but it's coming it's coming the main thing is, is please be careful. Please be careful of who you're listening to and taking advice from. There are people out here who claim to promote chief, and they don't. Let me be very clear, crystal clear. I don't promote anyone. I don't affiliate with anyone except for my tutor, colon raven hyphen farhad hyphen tohidi colon frm and one of my best students colon ricardo colon marseille i have never ever claimed to promote russell j gould matter of fact i do the opposite of it i tell people to watch out because he doesn't use correct grammar and neither does any of his students and i've proven that again and again and again I have no interest, I have no volition to ever contract with those people simply because of the fact that they use incorrect grammar. That's their choice. They don't follow through. And they know who they are. Snowflake Patriots, you know who you are. <laughs> and I know who you are, and you know I know who you are. Because I've met you. I've shaken your hand. I know you're not you're not you're not in this for chief. And it's sad. You could you could go all the way. You could. You could really help yourself. 
and mankind out here. But you know, that's your choice. Your choice. The other thing is, is uh, I needed to warn you about the possible agents that are out here. Possible agents. Uh, the bad guys, like uh, over here on Chief's website, lastflagstanding.com. Here's Piercing Dynasty, Chief's latest documentary. Highly recommend you on watching that a couple times. It's a new closure that Chief's got to help share with everybody. What All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is how much attention to detail that these people have. They misplace their colons and they misspell words in their fiction babble. Now, it really doesn't matter because it's in brackets there. But even a simple thing like being able to spell K-N-O-W, they fail to do that. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. And this is the link I wanted to show you. Oh, one other thing on a personal note I'd like to add is that I'm a one-man show. I edit and publish and shoot all of my video material. One man doing everything. These people have a whole ass team. And I've spoken with, with uh, marketers that have volunteered uh, for that construct and have since broken bulk because of the... Well, we'll just say, well, we won't give a reason why, but lots of people have left that cult and have shared horror stories about these people. They have a whole team of people. It reminds me of a whole team of people like Tasmanian devils just running around and nobody knows what anybody else is doing. And they all hinge on the latest word from chief, which gets filtered down through this Rachel Prince. It's the weirdest thing you've ever heard. Well, weirdest thing I've ever heard. I don't know about you disqualification and fake teachers interesting here I don't know why they put this Klaus Winther thing on here I really don't know I have no idea what um, it's either one or two things okay either number one just like everything else they don't know what the hell they're talking about or number two they're just blatantly trying to lie and slander because I've heard them say that I am the same individual as someone named Klaus Winther. Now that tells you about someone's mental condition and state. When you can look at the last five years of my YouTube channel, you can look at live streams, you can look at over 500 videos. Show me any evidence of that, what they're claiming there with the forward slash. Unless they're talking about that that's a different person. But I have heard them say that Klaus is the same person as me. <laughs> it's some of the most ridiculous stuff. Just like, you know, just reminds me of uh, the fiction system. How it just comes out with the most ridiculous claims. Almost like throwing a shovel full of diarrhea on the wall to see what sticks. This guy's also part of the truth terror. He was listed on the Anaheim event. I didn't hear him speak, but he's a bad guy too. Oh, and that guy. Yes, that guy right there. Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Claims this that Chief's technology is open source. No, that is not correct. Now, first of all, did you hear the slander? Bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, what is bad about me? Honestly. Over 500 free videos on YouTube. The sum total of my correct sentence structure knowledge. I don't hold anything back. It's all there. Free to the public. My gift to my fellow mankind. Yet, this guy's saying, bad guy, bad guy, bad guy. Why? Because I don't use the grammar that Russell J. Gould uses. I use correct grammar. He uses incorrect grammar. And I've shown proof of this over and over again. Ad nauseum. I use correct grammar. And I certify that I use correct grammar. So no, I don't use this guy's technology. I have no desire to. Because it's got mistakes all over it. So let's clear that up right now. Now it's up to you, as I just asked, 
it's up to you to credential whether I'm a good guy or a bad guy. I don't really, you know, care too much about that part of it. The only part I care about is the correct grammar. Okay? And so to be crystal clear to say it again, I don't use that technology. And I've never claimed that that technology is open source. Whatever technology the quantum gobbly group that Russell J. Gould uses is definitely not open source. He definitely wants people to pay for it. He definitely puts a paywall up that people have to go by in order to even enter into that little private conspiratorial uh, circle, that cult over there. I don't want anything to do with that. So no, I've never claimed that his quantum gobbledygook technology is open source. Never claimed that ever, 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 ever. What I do claim is to teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, which is not the same thing that he teaches. Shame on him. Shame on him. See that guy, number four here? That guy? Uh-uh. -oh. I can remember back when this guy, this guy right here, tried to get Chief's permission to uh, basically uh, teach syntax. And then later... That is not true. I never tried to get permission to teach syntax. I was teaching correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar since February of 2018. Never needed anyone's permission. Had been in contact with Russell J. Gould. He never said I needed permission. So this guy is off in La La Land. And I'm going to show you some of the things in the emails that he sent me. Just how kind of strange uh, things are over there. But anyways, let's, let's listen to what he has to say. He changes his story to uh, Trashy, which if y'all don't know who that is, uh, that is uh, Colin Robert. Uh, it's basically... A man who used to work for Chief, who still does work for Chief, but's been demoted to a new title called Trashy Bitch. I'm sorry to use that profane language, but that is the, his new title. Oh, wow. What a nice and kind title. Wow. He claimed that this guy right here contacted him to trash the learning school that I had built. Not true again, and I'm going to show that beyond a shadow of a doubt. That is not true. He didn't contact me to trash it. He contacted me to audit it. Robert Horton contacted me to take a look at the curriculum that this guy supposedly created to donate my now space to help them to develop it. That's what I claimed, and I'm going to show that in a minute here. In the very beginning. And so all this is news to me because that wasn't how it was presented to me from the very beginning. Hmm. Well, the survey has determined that that is a lie. Joey John Lester contacted me in 2019, and I will show you that email as well. And that guy turned out, he showed his true colors. And this guy right here is his co-partner, the way I look at it. And this lady down here. Well, I can't see what, what he's talking about there. It's just a blank screen here. So let's get into the evidence. So on October 15th of 2019, at 1239 a.m., Robert Horton contacted me and said, for the reach out of this for the treaty captain of the Robert Ivan Leroy with the Horton, comma, is with this want of the contact with the for the Jason Hyphen Matthew of the glass by this for the treaty captain by the Robert Hyphen Leroy colon Horton. Errors everywhere. I can overlook the non-tangible out in that compound fact, but this colon is incorrect. This colon is incorrect. This comma is incorrect. 
this name is incorrect because according to rule one rule equal what happens on the port side of the hyphen in a compound fact must happen on the starboard side so this r would need to be lowercase or every third letter of every word must be uppercase and I, i'm not even going to go into the rest but let's um Let's move up here and look at what I said to him. I said, for this claim, its knowledge of the facts is with this confirmation claim of the contact with the function by this Kuliana. So what I'm telling him is I'm confirming that he has achieved his goal of contacting me. So then he says, hey, good morning, Jason. Since this isn't a contract, I won't be communicating using now time contract grammar. That is false. That is blatantly and obviously not true. As Colin David Ivan Colin Miller said, everything is contract, whether it's fiction babble or whether it's correct sentence structure. So everything is contract. So just because it's not correct sentence structure does not mean that you can say whatever you want, that you can use foul language, that you can just be a rotten human being. It's not an excuse to be a jerk or whatever, all right? It's just not. The three principles of the balance of the honor and grace, position of peace, neutrality, maintenance, rule one, rule equal are always in place. Always. There's never an excuse to be lazy or lax with either your plain English or your correct sentence structure. But that's just the way I look at it. In any case, let's hear what he has to say. Nice reply. Ish, you dropped the flag and went full tilt on me. LOL, nice work. Hey, I just wanted to reach out to you to say hello. I'm working with for the commander of the Gould. Have been for at least eight years now. I was going through your video tutorials and wanted to say good job. The Red Thumb Club is about to launch a quantum grammar schoolhouse operation and thought you might be interested to know about it. Hell, in my opinion, you would make a hell of an asset. Any chance that you might be available to work with us on it a little bit. A new and different perspective. Never heard anyone, and it seems to be obvious to me that you're a pretty deep and through thinker. I think he meant thorough. A guy named Joey is laying out a curriculum, so to speak, and I'd like you to perhaps assist, if you'd like, in some small way. Bring your perspective, as it were, to the table for us. I know that you train other folks yourself, and we want to try to develop something that can be used as a universal model for other instructors to use to train people with. In that way, we can keep people who don't know how to syntax correctly from teaching other people how to syntax incorrectly. Well, Robert, it looks like you've failed. Because you got people like Joey John Lester and Muriel Meta Biggs teaching people how to syntax incorrectly. <laughs> There's one person out there in particular, I think you know who I mean, who's just making an awful mess of things. He's making all kinds of wild claims about himself, charging wild fees to people. He's rude to them as he instructs, forces them to meet his ridiculous schedule demands, offers no support to them after he extorts them for their money, has no experience in the courts whatsoever, has no idea how to write using correct sentence structure. The people that come to us after having worked with them just tell us horror stories about their experience and they don't even know how to syntax when they get done with them. Well, Robert could be talking about the Syntax Learning Center because I get dozens of people who have left that Syntax Learning Center who have no idea how to syntax. I mean, the guy is just a complete blah. We want to keep folks away from individuals like that. Me too. That's why I make reaction videos like this one, warning of the pitfalls of people who do not know how to use the grammar with correctness. So we're on the same page. It's not constructive for anyone, and right now people need all the help they can get with learning how to syntax properly. Anyway, just wanted to run that past you, see if you had a little time to donate. Maybe an hour here and there as we have fun ripping Joey's curriculum apart until we're all happy with the final product. Let me know, brother, out here, Horton. So my coolie on a back was, of course, I did some correct sentence structure here. Um...
So I said, for the claimant's knowledge of the facts of the position claiming the peace and neutrality with the volition by the claimant, claimant's knowledge of the facts with the claim of the correct sentence structure, oite with the communication conveyances, the construct with this command by this vessel master and claimant, for the claim of the thankfulness is with the kind words of the Robert Leroy Horton, with this conveyance by this claimant, and I used his spelling of his name because it was not my volition at that time to be confrontational with him about anything. I'm honoring uh, his knowledge level and trying to get a perspective on exactly what type of character this man possesses. For the claimant's knowledge of the facts is with the claim of the aid and tutorship with any vessel of the knowledge quest and correct, correct volition with the tender of this courtesy with this conveyance by this claimant. So I'm telling him, yeah, I would love to help and tutor anyone who has a knowledge quest that wants to learn correct sentence structure. So I said, hello, Robert. I am familiar with your role in the War Castles videos and your position with regards to Ghoul. It's a pleasure and an honor to read your email. As you see, I use correct sentence structure in my communications because it strengthens my vessel, my construct, and those who choose to come aboard my vessel. It offers a condition of state where the volition is clear and not open to assumption and presumption. If I claim to know quantum grammar and teach it, it would be odd if I did not perform it on a day-to-day -day basis. Here we go. Let me repeat that. If I claim to know quantum grammar and teach it, it would be odd if I did not perform on it on a day-to-day -day basis. To address your request for my help, I will state here now that I will help anyone who wishes to learn correct sentence structure or sharpen their skills. There is a brief process that must happen first. I must speak one-on-one -on -one via confidential video consultation. I provide the location with the potential student to certify their level of closure if any, of the quantum grammar and determine if they meet the criteria for participation in a grammar workshop. The basics of which I teach are on my YouTube channel available to the public. Blessings to you and your clan. So I'm telling him, I will teach anyone who wants to learn this. But the first thing, you have to meet me on the geometric level playing field of a confidential video communication where I can see and vet what your knowledge level is so that I know what I'm getting into. I know where I have to start to teach you. So I'm offering to help, but with one small condition. Guess what? He never wrote me back after that regarding this particular topic. He did not contact me again. So that was on October 17th, 2019. Keep in mind, after what you just saw there, you saw Robert Horton was reaching out to me, telling me that the Red Thumb Club, which later became revenued as the Quantum Community, which still later became revenued to the Syntax Learning Center, same group of people, different name. You know how Fiction Corporations Act, they revenue themselves from time to time for business purposes, asked me to help them to create a curriculum, to look at the curriculum that Joey John Lester had created and to rip it apart, okay, because this is supposed to be their teacher, all right? This is October 19th. This is in the same month, October 19th of 2019. Russell, what is the best way for people to start learning about this. What is the best way for people to start learning about this? Keep in mind the email I just read from Robert Horton and what was going on with the curriculum and their teacher, Joey John Lester. And this guy just said, Russell, what is the best way for people to start learning about this? That is the context of what Russell is going to say. I mean, uh, do you have a central website? Do you have books? I, I, I have... Uh, teachers out there that are coming along. There's a there's a there's a uh, there's a couple of uh, guys that are doing a real good job. A couple of guys that are doing a real good job. Uh, for one of the guys, his name is uh, Jason Hyphen Matthew Colin Glass. Okay. So he has a teacher that's developing a curriculum. Robert Horton reached out to me to help them with that to rip apart his teacher's curriculum. And yet, when this guy asks, where do people go to learn this? 
the first name out of his mouth is my name. Keep this in context, folks. Now, Joey John Lester and those people have tried to say, oh, well, Chief wasn't saying that he was a good teacher or anything like that. Or Actually, that's exactly what he's saying because it was my name out of his mouth first. Not Joey John Lester. Not anyone. Not Muriel Meta Biggs. No, it was Jason Matthew Class. I'm not saying that because it's something that uh, I needed or even asked for or wanted. This is just something that he said of his own volition off the top of his head. On October 26th, sorry I said October 19th, October 26th of 2019. He's been studying the grammar for quite a while. And what's really nice about that guy, I don't even know him. But when he makes a claim and I send him the proof that it's already been established, mm -hmm. that guy stops and corrects. Right? right. Whoa, you got my you got my honor, dude. You gonna stop and correct once you learn some sweet. I'm going to make sure that that guy has people. Okay. So what he just said there, he's referring to when he and I were communicating via email, which I have not published all the emails. I will someday, though, where he was talking about the lowercase m in my middle name after the hyphen. He was telling me that it needed to be uppercase in order to comply with rule one rule equal so I did stop and correct and I maintain that position I will stop and correct if someone can show me that I'm doing something wrong show me why I'm doing it wrong and show me how to correct it it's that simple it's the same thing I do with his grammar when I point out mistakes in his documents I also point out how to correct them it's up to him whether he stops and corrects which as yet, he, he has never done, and I doubt he will, and neither will any of his cult followers or lackeys. But for my part, I continue to stop and correct. I don't think a year goes by that I don't do it once or twice on the Internet in the public because I, co I cultivate humility. As to whether I am actually humble or not, that's up to you to decide. But I try to cultivate humility. It's very important to being successful with this grammar which could also be the reason why I never hear any success stories coming from that end of the spectrum. I just hear a lot of bluster. But in any case, the purpose of me showing you this is because in relation to the emails that I just showed you, here's this guy coming out in the public on October 26th, the same month, and when asked, where's the best place to go to learn this grammar? My name is the first name out of his mouth. So the next little piece of evidence I'm going to show you is an email from Joey John Lester himself. He contacted me on November 7th, 2019. And he says, for the greetings, period, Jason Knight from Matthew Cohen Glass, for the concerns of this email are with the completion of your performance with the title 42 stopping and correcting as the correction with your middle name capital letter correction performance as your void performance completion stands with the void correction performance of your youtube videos by the postmaster general of our world russell j gould's warning so how would we read that backwards ladies and gentlemen and this is this is the syntax learning center i.e quantum community i.e red thumb clubs Grammar teacher. For the Postmaster General of our world of the Russell J. with the Gould's warning with the YouTube videos. Okay. That voids the grammar, the, the mathematical interface 100% because he proceeds a by the with an of the. And every correct sentence structure must start with a cause and then a concern. For the facts, of the facts, are with the facts, by the facts. You wouldn't say for the facts, with the facts. That's not the way the mathematical interface works, Joey. You can study my correct sentence structure playlist, which has 50 to 60 free videos. And I talk about this over and over again. So this is an example of the grammar of their teacher. 
is for the completion of the stop and correct performance with the Jason Matthew glasses now space volition of your of your with the what of your space colon space sample of your void performance so we have two of those or is that an of the I have no idea what a space colon space means and then of course the of the gratitude and then for the military veteran hero anyways what he's talking about is the middle name thing that I was talking to you about earlier so this guy's obviously a day late and a dollar short um, after Russell went on that podcast uh, on October 26th on November 7th this guy obviously hasn't isn't up to date on what's going on in his own construct with his own people so before I even had a chance to write back to the guy he writes back on November 7th an hour let's see 1221 he writes back um, about an hour and a half later apologies for the apologies of this wrong syntax email messages with the wrong syntax by the Joey John Lester of the correction for the for the warning is with the wrong use by this Joey John Lester sorry of the wrong communication here is with the stop and correct peaceful volition so kudos to this guy at least back in 2019 for using quantum gobbledygook to apologize for his email as you can see here the email was sent to Russell J Gould and the Red Thumb Club so someone in there told him to zip it that he was out of pocket so to speak let's take a look at the grammar real quick so we have let's take the first sentence here for this Joey John Lester of the wrong use is by the warning with the correction so that voids the mathematical interface because every correct sentence structure must start with a cause and end with a with an authority he's starting with a concern followed by a cause it has void mathematical interface so which which makes sense because I mean where he comes from and who he learned it from this is exactly the same thing that Russell J Gould does there is no mathematical interface to it now I'm gonna go into another email with the same weird type of thing to it um, and this one is from Robert Horton and this is on December 22nd 2019 at 2 35 a.m. and he says this is not a contract I'm writing in italics Jason why do you not have your middle name capitalized is it done by accident your tutorials are done quite well from what I can see but again my question about your name comes out of curiosity and then my question to you Robert would be why is the third letter of your middle name capitalized because that is a direct violation of rule one rule equal and one zero in a multiplication problem zeros out the whole thing so you're with the void name by your own logic and of course it is contract Robert everything is contract whether it's fiction babble or whether it's correct sentence structure so this was sent at 2 35 a.m. on December 22nd before I even had a chance to respond back at 2 40 a.m. he writes back on the same day and says never mind my last question I see in your new spooky trailer that you have corrected it I figured it was an oversight I make them myself from time to time no kidding have a great Christmas respectfully well thank you so again you know I mean supposedly according to Joey in the video that we watched earlier Horton is still employed by Russell J Gould which I don't really know how that works I guess Russell must make a crap ton of money on patreon and through the live life claims and things like that that he's able to pay someone like Horton to work for him 
but I do my, my offer is still on the table if Horton is watching this if he wants to contact me and he wants to learn the grammar um, I'd be perfectly willing to teach him but he just has to email me contact me so that I can set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation with him or it would even be cooler if he wanted to be a guest on my Continuum Conversations talk show. That'd be pretty cool, don't you think? In summary, I'll say that I've had a lot of fun making this video. Um, these fellows provide a lot of laughs in, in, in my life. Uh, over the years, I've had, you know, I've had... All sorts of people contact me from Russell J. Gould's Construct. And at times they will cajole me, threaten me, um, just say, say nasty things. And they will also, they've also asked me grammar questions in the past. Um, and I've shared my grammar knowledge with them. But yet they go back and badmouth me in their private meetings. Sort of a dichotomy. I, of course, don't wish anything bad on anyone. This video was made for the protection, for the ages, for the safety of my vessel because this Joey John Lester, who, with humility, corrected himself back in 2019 when he was accusing me of something and then he realized that he was the one that was wrong, that used incorrect grammar, no shit, still does, pardon my language, but now, he's slandering me, saying I'm a bad, bad, bad guy. I'm an agent. Okay, I mean, I've never said that he's a bad guy. I've never said anything personal about him at all, other than the fact that he uses incorrect grammar. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a hard blow to the ego when you've created a whole construct and someone comes along and keeps showing over and over and over again that you're using incorrect grammar, that the very foundation of your construct is faulty, you can either, with humility, come forward and say, you know what, I want to work with this guy. I want to learn the grammar. Yes, he knows the grammar. Let's work together and build a very strong construct. No, 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 no. Instead of that, got to disqualify the guy. A caveat to this is the fact that Russell J. Gould has never, ever said anything rude or nasty to me in a communication. The only thing sort of uh, criticism that he made was about my middle name. Basically, that was the only thing. He also mentioned something about my c c treaty and my Port Authority treaty, uh, where he said that he owns all ports and quays on planet Earth. And then I wrote back and, and said something to the effect of, and this is a paraphrase, that my port is my port of sensation and it's my live life claim number. No, he does not own that. Um, I do. Well, I don't own it. I'm a steward of it. And the same thing with my CPAS C treaty. And we continued to communicate and he never brought it up again. Never brought it up again. Never told me I had to get a live life claim from him. Never told me I needed permission to use grammar never said any of those things to me and he had plenty of opportunity to do it in the three years that we communicated so it is what it is i think personally and this is my own opinion this is my own perception of what happened i chose not to kiss his ass i chose not to subordinate myself to him or his quantum gobbledygook structure i realized it was an effort in futility that I would definitely have to, I would definitely have to support my Nate myself and sort of uh, enable or uh, how, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like a protagonist centered morality. I know he's using incorrect grammar. In order to work with him, I'd have to accept that and go along with it and let him think that he's the boss and that he's correct and blah 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 when he's not. Not of me. Anyways, he may be of you if you choose to, you know, bow down or whatever, but no. I'm the only authority here. For me, I don't claim authority over anyone else.
but me. Um, and that's the bottom line. That That's what makes me different than Joey John Lester or anyone else. Now, I understand Joey John Lester is a military guy. Robert Horton's a military guy. They're used to chain of command. That's their thing. That makes them feel comfortable, makes them sleep, you know, in bed at night safely, you know, all comfy knowing that uh, they subordinate themselves to someone who hasn't even been in the military and doesn't use correct grammar. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see if YouTube is contacted by any of those comedians over there at the Syntax Learning Center. Um, and by comedians, I don't mean it in a negative sort of way. I mean that they have provided me the gift of humor and laughter, and I'm grateful to them for it. Um, as far as teaching grammar, the only way that I would consider teaching any of those people grammar is if they completely broke bulk with that construct and went out on their own as their own authority. I know it's hard to do to put your big boy pants on and do that. I know they're probably, you know, it's, it's frightening to some people to do that, but uh, that's my term and condition because I do not contract with any contract party that has a warlike volition. That about does it. Thank you very much for watching, friends and neighbors. Till next time, cheers. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.